good morning all of you in the last class we have discussed about the theory of sedimentation and the factors affecting uh, sedimentation today we will discuss about the sedimentation tank so the process of sedimentation this process of sedimentation can be effected by providing conditions under which the suspended material present in water can settle out as we know as we have discussed in the last class there are three different factors which affect the uh, procedure of sedimentation the first one is velocity of flow second one is shape and size and third one is viscosity so out of these three forces the viscosity factor the viscosity is not practically possible to control and this velocity of the flow this can be uh, reduced or can be controlled in the sedimentation tank so this can be controlled by providing by increasing the length of the travel of the particle in the sedimentation tank or by detaining the particles for a longer time in the sedimentation tank and the shape and size this factor can be altered by adding uh, some chemicals to water and those chemicals are known as coagulant so when this coagulant is added in water that process is known as sedimentation added with coagulation which we will discuss later on but now we will focus on this factor that is velocity how to control this velocity in sedimentation tank so there are two method one is either increasing the length of the travel or second one is by detaining the particle for a longer period so for which the sedimentation tanks are designed so the sedimentation tanks are generally made up of rcc reinforced concrete and may be of rectangular or circular in plan a plain sedimentation tank however can remove as much as 70 percentage of the suspended impurities present in water so next what are the different types of sedimentation tank so sedimentation tank can basically be of divided into two type one is horizontal flow tank second one is vertical or up flow tank again this horizontal flow tank is divided into two types one is rectangular tank with longitudinal flow second one is circular tank with radial flow so first we will discuss about the rectangular tank with longitudinal flow so this is the image diagram of a rectangular tank with longitudinal flow so this is the influent end influent end means through which the raw water will enter into the tank this is the sedimentation tank and this is the effluent end from where the clear water is taken out so this type of tank sometimes provided with and in this this is the sludge hopper where the sludge will get uh, settle down and this is the sludge withdrawal pipe through which it is taken outside so sometimes this type of uh, rectangular tank uh, is provided with mechanical scraping devices to scrap the sludge to the sludge pit and 
this will uh, work continuously without stopping the working of the tank so such tanks are known as your continuous flow type of sedimentation tank in such tank the flow velocity is only reduced and the water is not brought to complete rest but in other type of tank mechanical scrapers may not be provided and the tanks have to be cleaned by stopping the operation of the tank those type of tank is known as your intermittent sedimentation tank clear one is continuous type flow type sedimentation tank second one is intermittent type of sedimentation tank so in continuous type of sedimentation tank the sludge is removed continuously or periodically without stopping the working of the tank but in case of intermittent type of sedimentation tank the raw water is simply stored and kept at rest for a certain period so during this rest period the suspended particles settle down at the bottom of the tank and the clear water is taken out after this the tank is cleaned off the settled silt then after uh, this uh, cleaning operation uh, this type of tank will require 30 to 36 hours again to uh, come to in working condition so this will hamper or this will lead to wastage of time as well as labor therefore continuous flow type of tanks are invariably used in these days so next type of tank is circular tank with radial flow so in this case so this is the diagram of a circular tank so in this type you can see this one is the influent end so from here the raw water will enter into the influent well and there are some there are uh, multiple ports are there from which water is coming out and it will flow radially in all directions equally the water thus flows horizontally and radially from the center towards the periphery of the circular tank and through this side this the effluent side through this side the clear water will come will taken out so here this is the blades of scrapers and this is the sludge sump so the sludge is scraped to the central sump this is the sludge sump so the mechanical scraper will continuously remove the sludge from where it is withdrawn during operation clear so through this the sludge is this is the sludge discharge pipe the sludge is taken out then we will move to the next type that is vertical or up flow settling tank so this type of tank may be of square or circular in plan clear with hopper bottoms so see this is the diagram of a vertical or up flow settling tank so in this type of tank this may be of square or circular in plan and the influent that means the raw water will enter through the bottom of the tank see here this is the raw water so through this raw water will enter and due to the increased dimension here 
the you can see the cross sectional area is increasing towards the top so due to the increased uh, dimension cross sectional area the velocity will decreases and uh, the clear water is then withdrawn this is the outflow so draw through this the clear water is withdrawn okay through the circumferential or central wall and the settled particles the settled particles will taken out through this bottom side bottom portion so this is all about the sedimentation tank and the sedimentation process in the next class we will discuss about the next process of water purification that is sedimentation with coagulation thank you